can see this happening. Teams are going to form early, obviously. We have a four-month offseason, five-month offseason. They're going to start playing games like Cold War because they're just going to want to play something. We're going to see, like, scrims and shit. And what if these teams are shit? We're not going to see scrims. Nobody's scrimming Cold War. What I think they do will. You okay, in? listen, I think they might. <laughs> dude, I can't. Not like us. scrimming, but like, like they'll, they'll be playing. They'll be like pick up eights and shit, but like, dude, nobody is full team scrimming on Cold War. I don't know. And they're off season. <laughs> they might. Optic Podcast, episode 129, presented by Prize Picks, guest of the year, O. Roger. Yeah. Hey, I no heard way. O. Roger was filling in. I said, You fucking with me? O. Roger. <laughs> <laughs> you said, you said Davis, is a, Davis, Davis isn't going to be here today. Yeah. You want to speak on that, actually? Why don't you, why why don't Davis you let Davis not here? Why don't you let everyone He's know the host what's been going on? We got, we got a lot of people coming back from Vegas. I mean, six days of Vegas, first off, is way too fucking much. It's just Please, never debauchery again. and just. And filth. I go back and. A little bit. Yeah. But uh, a couple of our guys seeing, weren't feeling well, so. Yeah. I'm on the podcast this week. I will be seeing another Cirque du Soleil when I go back. That is a fact. Dude, I can't even fathom going back to Vegas in such a short period of time. <sighs> you guys are going back? Mm-hmm. Well, I can't say going. why yet, but yeah, I'm, go- I'm going uh, back in like two two weeks. Like, like six that. days in Vegas? Because the thing with Vegas is there's nothing, and I mean legitimately nothing to do besides drink, eat, and gamble. Well, it's a party on your way, on the way to, just in the lobby of the hotels. It's just, yeah. Like yeah. You're just heading to your room, and it's like, well, fuck, there's this, there's a bar. There's it reeks drinks. of bogues. It's just, you got on stairs, there's those. 8 a.m. people at the bar. It's just a filthy. Just debauchery. It is just like the filthiest of filth that you can imagine. And we were at the Aria. Which Aria is, is like great. One of the nicer hotels. It gets filthier. Dude, I mean, it gets like actual filth, or it's just like no, nah, it's just slime mean, balls walking around. Prostitutes, it. like it's just the it gets filthy. What what's up with that? How are prostitutes like? Obviously, it's illegal. How don't like you can tell when you see them that they're prostitutes, and are they walking around like the hotel lobby? Like, how is this still? No, nah, they're how do cops just like no, nah, nah. they're camouflaged. But you know when you see them. Nah. Am I faded for this? Are you, prostitutes legal in... Prostitutes are legal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the yeah. fuck? Oh, but only in certain licensed yeah. brothels. Oh, you gotta go to a brothel. I mean, you can tell. If Which includes in, Las Vegas. Like, if she'll pick you out at a hotel, bring you back to her brothel. I mean, if you're at lunch and there's an 85-year-old with a 22-year-old, it's safe to say. You know? Wait. It's fucking... There's brothels in Vegas? Mm-hmm. Is I there really? It's only yeah. like Europe. Ah, uh-huh, so the city's one of the filthiest... Wait, why are you right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, it's like, like, yeah, how do you there's know quite a few. Why is he jumping at that? <laughs> no, I just thought oh, that yeah. was something yeah. that was Trust known. Trust me, there's a lot. I just thought that was something that was known. No, no I... No, but there was... There was a, I had no idea. What I think was a prostitute in, sit in like the elevator like lobby of my hotel, because I didn't stay at the Aria. I stayed right across the street at the Vidara. I came back at like 1.30 in the morning and there was uh, two women that were like circulating the elevators and they were like, oh, what are you up to? Like what sharks. To? What are you up to? And I was like, it's I'm insane. I was not entertaining any of that. Awesome. That's insane. Yeah. And there are a lot of people in that city who might have folded that night. You walk back to the hotel 4 a.m., you're just fucking... You get some drinks. In not you. me. I'm just saying. Not <laughs> me. Never. I don't think that was up. A- Never me. I'm why just you, saying there are, are a lot of people. Weird? I'm just saying there are a lot of people who might have folded. <laughs> <laughs> not Never. not in poker. Not nah, dude. The the gambling yeah. went well. Bro, the the I didn't realize the aria was that the tables were that bad. They're like fifty dollar minimums at every single table at the aria, and that's fine for you guys. Fifty dollar man for us mortals. Like fucking, we hand? had to go to Oyo and sit in the smoke filled fucking casino. And uh, find like the five dollar tables because it was just so bad at Dario. Yeah. Oh yo, yeah, it was like one of the casinos, like one street off the strip. Is everything on the strip was that it weekend? Nice? No, no, not at all. Really? Yeah, it was bad. No, the gambling uh, was fun, but it was. You didn't do no fifty mins. I played. So that means uh, like per hand, right? Like yeah. I stopped gambling because I just lost every single time. I played uh, a couple times at those tables, but dude, especially like Tuesday, Wednesday, we got there, we were gambling, and dog, like going down and then still yeah. waiting four days in Vegas, you're just like, yeah. that's a you're problem, down, dude. This like, isn't even worth it. Day yeah, one. exactly. That, that was my problem. I blew, I blew my gambling load day one, and I blew it fast, and I was like, I'm, I can't yeah, gamble. You anymore. did blow. I mean, you went. 
Tuesday was tough for you. Tuesday was tough. You had a fucking disaster. <laughs> you want to say how much? Uh, yeah. Because for okay. you, it's not... So I lost, it can't it's, be not, it's not real money. Yeah. Well, I lost. Well, I lost. Yeah. It's not real money. He's gonna piss everybody yeah. off. Yeah. I lost thirty five hundred on Tuesday. Damn, I'm actually like, proud of you for that. In like twenty minutes, I'm proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he I, would. I was expecting like eight hundred. No, it was fucking crazy because Hector was like, "Dude, why are you in such a bad mood?" And this is why. Like, I'm not. I don't think I'm a hater. But so day one, we get there. We all sit down at the blackjack table. Everyone's hopes are high. We're like, fuck yeah. Let's We're get giddy. It. I mean, we just like, got to Vegas. We're about to, fucking, to, we're about to rob this place. <laughs> and wait. So I'm sitting next to Ant, and I think on my left was you. And then Hector was on, on the right. So we all we get like our own table, which is already a good situation. I'm sitting next to Ant, Shotzi. He goes up seven grand in the course of me going down three and a half. What? And I was just watching him get like blackjack, 20. 21 five card and i'm sitting here getting like 12 and just busting every hand and i'm like dude and i'm just looking at it he's getting the best cards ever and hector's like why are you fucking hating and i'm like dude do you see what's happening right now like i cannot get a card to save my life so i went down 3500 day one and then i didn't gamble for like three days and then hector gave me a thousand chip and i lost that quick you lost that quick that was after i Javier's. lost that super quick and then that was like three days later and then i, I didn't gamble again because it was just like dude yeah i'm just getting clean you lose money you I went up there like five racks really yep yeah. oh, dude yeah yep. i went back to even everyone i went down early, everyone like was Tuesday crushing Wednesday. well sunday night i me and davis like five grand me and weekend. davis were the only two that got like cleaned i'm pretty sure everyone else was like either up or even and we just got rocked and I will not gamble when I go back. I will eat, but I will not gamble. Are you gonna stay? Uh, I'm not gonna ask you if you're staying there. But I don't know where I'm staying yet. We did have some good food. Yeah, well, we had some good food. We had catch three times. So basically, no one really wanted to leave the area. You had catch three times. I had it twice. I wasn't invited the third time. Dude, bro, you were it at, kills me. You were every... at the Cirque, whatever Cirque du Soleil. You bro, fucking asshole. It kills me every time you go out to dinner with Zin. It's the same exact thing. Right as the food comes out, he goes like this. He goes. Yeah, oh, but yeah. it's part Why? of the brand. Every single you time. Part of the food. brand. Timeline's got to I'm vlogging first. and shit. I'm vlogging. I'm posting Instagram stories. I mean, it's a key part of my life, man. Can I hold this so I can sit back? <laughs> you can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm i leaning over. No, we had uh, we had Carbone. Carbone was good. You, you thought it was underwhelming, didn't you? Yeah. I thought Carbone was great. We had catch three it times. Was good. We like, had it was, catch a lot. It was good Italian food, but... Javier's was Javier's was shit. the trap because Javier's Javier's we were so we had Javier's good. for lunch twice and Javier's you ever have Javier's? Mm -mm. It's Mexican. The chip salsa, dude. And it's a, salsa so was good. great, and yeah. it's a big meal. And like you eat that for lunch, it's like it ruins your whole day. Like dinner, you're trying to nah, eat a salad. That's not true because we ate it then went to the pool. The pool day was a good day. That was see that that was the that was like what I wish we did more. We did you go to the pool like Wednesday before the watch party? Yeah, yeah, Wednesday we pool. Yep, yeah. Two, Wednesday we went to the pool. And it was great. Didn't lose any money. It was great. Yeah, Vegas is a trap, man. I don't know. Everyone else wanted to gamble, and I'm like, me and Iz on on Sunday, we were like, let's go do something else. We went to the the <laughs> Cirque, and then there was the after party at 10 p.m. and we didn't go. Thank God, because I heard that was a shit show. I wasn't. I wouldn't even <laughs> call it an after party. I would just call it the entire CDL community plus fans in the in the hotel lobby. Yeah. And it's like, you know, there were some tweets like, I do think there has to be like some private, like a private event Sunday yes. night. Like, it, it, it's all great, but like, you're trying to drink and talk to your friends and like, you got people taking pics and I stuff. I mean, there's and people like, talking about roster moves and there's... There's people there. There's people right next to them and shit. Yeah, it's like... It's, I don't know. No I'm wonder all everything for, leaks in our community. I remember back in the day, it was just everyone's Sunday night bar. And there weren't really like pictures like that. I'm surprised. Was there... Was there ever was it ever like that for you in, in like twenty fourteen, like twenty fifteen, when you would go to the bar like Sunday night where everyone goes like, like with Anaheim. fans and stuff? Yeah, there'd be there'd be a few, but because I yeah, feel like there's, nowadays there's it'd more. be crazy. Yeah. Like it would be well, like yeah, impossible because they're like because they're, like they're looking. They're like, where are they? Mm -hmm. Well, and then they Anaheim show up. Is like so close, or the bar is so close to the venue. I'm surprised at how like protected it was. <laughs> I was gambling Sunday night, me and Zuma. And I hear behind me this guy whisper, he goes, the big doggy dog's got 21. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I turn around, he's like, yo, you heard me say it? I was like, yeah, I did. <laughs> you loved it though? I mean, it was hilarious, but it was just like funny. Like me and Tommy are sitting there you gambling for a second. And I'm just fucking, I'm spewing. It's Sunday night. I'm talking to Tommy. I mean, like that's a- It's dangerous. It's a dangerous- 
Because obviously, I mean, we don't say anything crazy off stream, but we talk about like more private, intimate shit. Yeah, I mean, know? we talk it's a little like, more personal. It's like, how's this? How's that? What about this roster move you heard about? Like, yeah, it's, that's it's what not, I'm saying. It's not stuff that you'd want people hearing. And Roster Mania is upon us. Is it about to be a shit show? Roster Mania? Yeah. It's actually going to be <laughs> fucking crazy. Because <laughs> the problem is, two two full teams have a full team of, un of unrestricted free agents. That's Seattle like unheard of. and Thieves, right? So yeah, you have eight players unrestricted. Eight, a lot like, of those good players, players being good players. Yeah, and yeah. then it's just going to shake everything up. Uh, Ultra apparently is interested in selling Insight and Kleenex because of financial issues, which is like the last thing anybody expected because Ultra, they play second at champs. Obviously, Scrappy stays. You can't get rid of Scrap. No. But it's like, if you're, if you're losing Kleenex... Who do you get? You know what I mean? Like it's a. So they I can't don't know. keep that roster, or are they just. I'm not don't sure what really their plan to? is. They're either. I'm assuming. I thought that roster was like a solid four. And they, they are, are just gonna like stick together. I'm assuming their year two deals are too expensive, and they're gonna try to do something to lower those deals, or they have to sell them off. But I'm not sure who's really buying. I think Kleenex has more of a chance to get bought than Jamie, just because <clears throat> I think main AR wise, like you have Clay unrestricted, Illy's back in the mix, who I he he completely sort of. Well, I feel. I don't want to cut you off, but I also feel like salaries are about to get they might. corrected. They might. Well, yeah. for some players. For I some think players. No matter what, I think like those S tier players are going to be paid. Yeah, they'll get paid well. Three, still. four, five, like yeah. big money. But I feel like salaries, the average salary is is probably going to go down a little bit. I mean, there's there's rumors about us going back to YouTube as well. No. And if that happens, I mean, the player salaries, I mean. <laughs> and then on top of that, you have like the whole org rebrand combo. There's like... I saw a rumor that there's like four, potentially five teams that are like looking Florida to is Florida is the most. Heretics, potentially. Yep. And then Seattle's apparently moving to Vancouver. And then uh, London the to Charlotte. Charlotte. London to Charlotte. No but, more London. But there's more that weren't like leaked. I'm confused as to what those are. Like there's like, apparently some yeah. some teams are changing names or cities and like, but like those. Maybe LAG because of their whole change, right? Maybe. I heard LAG was staying. I don't know. That's the that's the word on the street. The team? Is that, like the organization staying. Oh, uh, okay. I, I heard they just cleaned house and like did like a company revamp, but I heard LAG staying. But this roster media is going to be crazy. And obviously things are already popping off. We're only two day, three days in now and it's we have like a five month off season, which also sucks. I mean, five yeah. months of, of no actual Call of Duty action. Like it's just like everybody's just like a little drama queen right now. Just fucking fiending for drama. Intel and... <laughs> My Twitch titles, Roster Mania. I'm not even talking about Roster Mania. But like, <laughs> but my but, but my, just in case something pops up. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. my titles, Roster Mania, and they're coming in. Why aren't you even talking about Roster Mania? Fuck yourself. Buddy. Play next Defiant, <laughs> buddy. Play next Defiant. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, the roster. It's weird not being in the mix. In, in, in the in the mix, though. I don't think so at all. You you were never in the mix. You were. You, you were able to point and say him. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking. Please don't drop me. <laughs> you will keep me, please. <laughs> I'm good. Any takers? I'm very good, please. <laughs> yes. So I mean, I do good work. <laughs> we had a we had a very different uh, idea of mix. You had a, a a nice pool of players to pick from, and I was fighting for dear life a couple of years. But it's it, it's definitely weird. But like I'm still I'm still receiving intel. Like I still have my little moles, <laughs> and they're like they're like. <laughs> I love it, dude. I mean, it's crazy. The only team that's going to stick is New York. Yeah, the only I think the only team that's not making changes is New York, right mm. now. Well, that's usually insane. like the roster menu will also like at least like take like one of the two, if not three months of like the off season. Like it'll like fill that time. But now our off season is no. so long that it's like well, you have like the two weeks past where all the contracts will void, right? And yeah. there's usually at least like a week to two weeks where like all everything still kind of get figured figured out so yeah. it's like there's still like a month of entertainment from the cod scene right post champs but this year it's like we still have four fucking months to fill right that's where we step Damn, in four months cooking streams hot tub streams i mean we'll be playing yeah i i'm actually excited i've, I've been waiting for the off season because everyone kind of expected me to play like mw2 ranked and i'm mm -hmm. gonna be straight up just honest i didn't retire to play mw2 ranked <laughs> like people were like why aren't you playing ranked and i'm like dude like so x defiant Maybe Apex. I want to do like a little, like a mini, like off season series. I want to try to get top two fifty on Warzone, which I think that'll be the easiest to do. I think I think that'll be pretty easy to be honest. And then I want to get so people said getting pred on Apex right now is like impossible because it's just time in, which is kind of the same as Warzone. So I'll probably go for like Masters on Apex, and then I'll probably go for like Immortal on Valorant and try to hit like all three of those, which I think is doable. I hate video games anymore. 
Really? Oh, yeah. I just can't sit there and like focus. Like maybe it's just because I feel like I've lost my skill. So it's like, what's the fucking point? Well, you could get it back if you wanted. I don't know, man. I tried. I truly tried, man. I don't know what's happened. I mean, all you played was I Halo. Pl- I know. Go play something but else. I've tried. Apex is fun. X the Fine was all right. Apex with a good like group of three. Yeah. I think will be the most fun game we play this offseason. Well, you also don't have like a group to play with, right? Like every yeah, time I've, you I've stream, always, it's just every you. time I stream, I'm just like being so overly dramatic, and it's just like some solo stream where I'm just ra- fake raging. Fake I'm not, raging. I'm not actually <laughs> mad. Fake raging. But I'm just fucking raging, and I'm, I've always been like a solo streamer because I feel like whenever I party out with people, it's like I don't like my streams just like not the same. Because yeah. usually when I stream, I'm just like talking to my chat the entire time and. So when I play with someone else, it's just not the same. And then games like Apex, it, can't play that solo. No. Yeah. You need a squad with, like, a goal and try to win. And I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm Too much. Do that. I don't, I don't, I don't I want to do that. I don't that. got what it takes anymore. You will do it. Dude, that's the problem. <laughs> I don't have a choice. <laughs> He's so worried about like his his average concurrence when we're playing other games, and it's like, dude, it's gonna be like that regardless. Does that like just <laughs> matter at all for brand deals? Yeah, like, over over like how like you won't. No, 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 no. You won't. Play That's not my actual unless, worry. Like, you know, it's gonna be like a good stream. No, no, no. My actual have, like, worry. To do. My actual worry is like I have like I can go for like three to four hours and play something and be in it, but once I'm like out of it and I'm forced to play it, I lose it. Like the other day we were playing Warzone, me, him, and Cloak, and we played for like six hours. By like four and a half hours, I was done. And I was just like a shell of myself. What are you going to do? Dude, I don't know. I'll fucking... You're right. What are you going to do? I just need more coffee. I don't know. I just need to be like really like into it, if that makes sense. I don't know. We have five months of off season. I know. You can only focus up He said he was going to go back... No, it just depends on the game. Zinn said he was going to go play MW2 Ranked. Uh, no, if For I said if I were solo, no, no, no. I said if I'm solo, I'll just like, because I I still enjoy playing Call of Duty. Like I I still have the itch mm-hmm. to like compete, realist, like honestly, like uh, playing. Uh, yeah, I do. Cold War Eight. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. like that shit, I'll do. Like I love. I mean, that sounds way more enjoyable than playing MW2 ranked. Yeah. And like any chance I can play like, anything fresh, competitive, right? I'm gonna be playing it. That's why like I'm excited for X Defiant to come out because I feel like there'll be like tournaments and like I'll play that. Um, but it's still an open beta, right? Like they're gonna close it back down after yeah, yeah, like a week. I or think whatever. I think tomorrow it closes. Fuck. All yeah. we have is tonight, and then closes tomorrow at noon. Ah, oh, so we're beat. Yeah. Let's say like pulling all nighters. I mean, like a fucking, I'm gonna play today five five six hours, and like then I was thirteen. I'll wait for the real game to drop, and then I'll probably hop on over to Warzone. Warzone is fun. It you just, will be playing Warzone. I will, dude. Warzone's not bad. It's just when when Warzone starts going bad, it's miserable. Like, well, it's, yeah, but that's how Warzone is. That's yeah. how any BR is. If it starts going bad, it's fucking. You're sitting when there spectating. Yeah, like, but when the streamer you're watching is miserable, it's kind of miserable to watch as a viewer. It. Oh, dude, that's I'm not, how I. That's literally how I how I felt like a few months ago, or like you can fake it three hours. Two months in. ago, not seven. Like I, I would have to like fake it, but in my head, I'm like I don't even want to start up another game like thinking about like i might just fucking watch youtube videos like xqc Bless or you, something Matt. but like that's where i think i, I could thrive just, i felt miserable and it's that's like that's where i think i could thrive i feel like the chat can like pick pick up on it like i don't know like just ruins the vibe of the stream i think that's my end goal just one of those streamers who sits there and just bullshits i can waffle i could talk for hours yeah but you have to do that every single day just yeah, that's the problem all day just he sitting just, sitting there talking all day. I could just go the route where I just talk about every big streamer and then they'll start watching me talk shit about them and then I'll blow up that way. Yeah, just get into every single piece of drama. That just goes every around. single thing, just give my two cents and then they'll start... <laughs> and your two cents... <laughs> like, Who the fuck is this the, kid? <laughs> your two cents would piss off so many people. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that if might I, be the strat. Yeah. If, if all else fails, that I would just mute my interactions. I, w- I wouldn't go on Twitter. <laughs> I would have subscriber only chat and I'm just name dropping every single huge streamer and giving my two cents just every YouTube I think this, short is I, just, Nick, I think I think I had to switch to IRL I think this streaming. guy's a prick there's yeah. Zinni's strategy yep I'm streaming if all else hits the fan now. you'll see me there join me for a gym stream you're trying to get into working out a little bit I need to get back into working squats. out I need to get back into it I'm actually down for my IRL streams are so much less stressful but you were playing just kickball a, the other day. That shit looks so fun. <laughs> yeah. Who are you playing I'm in kickball, a kickball with? 
<laughs> I'm in a kickball league with a, you don't know any of them. It's just like a guy I know that was friends with one of my, like someone I went to high school with. But randomly met him out here, and then he asked me to join his kickball team, and I was like, sure. So now I'm just like on a kickball team with a bunch of random people, and we're actually like kind of nice. I think I think there's yeah. like eight or ten teams. That's like in the league. Good to hear. Like, this I is like fun. this is how I know I'm like getting fucking old. Yeah. I'm in this like co-ed, yeah. older people kickball league. <laughs> <laughs> like the team, we beat a team like fifteen to one the other day. They were just like all old, probably like high 30s mm -hmm. low I, 40s maybe and i'm just like this is where this is where i'm at now yeah. and i have they see me pulling up i have my fucking tripod behind the <laughs> plate i'm in like ultra wide mode you can see everything is i kind of like it though it's a lot less stressful and i mean i couldn't i had to sit there and like talk to my stream the whole time instead of like even talking to my teammates who i don't even know but it's definitely a lot less stressful you're out in the sun enjoying a game of kickball it's more my speed these days yeah it's like a yeah. child like th that's like good to hear because like i feel like i would i'd love that like a baseball yeah, league like get like me it. into like a baseball league yeah i feel like the world has changed volley, so much just a different time like, we'd have to play in a softball, softball. League. Mm -hmm. there's no baseball league we were trying to get ones there's no baseball leagues? Just like nobody would commit i'm to not it. playing no yeah. softball yeah. dude i'm playing I would. baseball i would just wouldn't what do you mean there's no baseball leagues and what do you mean we i said i there's no baseball league for us what do you mean we i said i there's no baseball Where the leagues. fuck did you get in here? What sport would Optic get into? We could like, start a baseball league. You're telling me we're not having a bunch of applicants for a baseball league. I'm I mean, a cap baseball's hard, though. Like, yeah. I'm a captain of one team, like you're a captain of the other. Softball, you just go up there, you lob the ball, Actually, you hit it, you field it. Like, baseball, like... Can you imagine if we get real into it? <laughs> like, if we, I can see basketball. Carrying the bag. If we joined a rec league, what would... Obviously, we try to do it with, like, Optic members. What sport would we play? Do you think? I feel like we'd get sucked into soccer because fucking hitch. Nah, I, I can't play yeah. soccer. I'd actually be down for basketball though. We do basketball. I do basketball. But then we yeah. show up. People no, know who we are. We get for that. Like, like, do we? Do we get? We get jerseys. <laughs> yeah. None of us are that good. We Bro, when I do, when we're done. We we're fucking, short. <laughs> it'd be like eighty to like eight, 16 type scores. No. Bro, when I tuned into Maybe, your stream the uh, other day, when you guys were playing kickball, like five people bunted in a row, and then they just yeah, lost the bro, game. I was like, they're yeah. not even. Tr I was, I was like raging. The bunting's a good from my though. side. Gotta, like they're not even trying. Yeah, but I mean, like I kicked it. I think I got up to bat like six times, and I think four of the six, like I'm booting the ball, mm -hmm. like I'm sending it to the moon. But then they just catch it. Oh. So it's like bunting might be the strat. We're gonna talk about this it is next. So boring, We're gonna though. talk about it next Tuesday before we go into our match, throwing some bunting because we don't we don't bunt at all. But like the team we played against was bunting every time. Are you guys and playing it was outside? Like hard to get them out. Yeah. Jesus. We just played like a baseball field. Yeah. It's gonna be like one. Like, it's like one ten. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Next week there's a day. It's supposed to be one ten. That uh, one ten. Let, let me just say this state not, is unacceptable when it comes to heat and allergies. Not feels like one ten. Actual one ten. Dude, 110, 105, 105. 104, 101, what 103, 110, 105, 105, uh, 101. 110 this is the first crazy. time I wish I was back crazy. in the suburbs. Have like a house, like before you leave the house, you would like go turn the AC on in the car. Mm -hmm. Like being downtown, bro, you can't walk anywhere. Walking to the office is miserable. Yeah, four but minute, then, four but minute then it walk. gets to January and it's fucking snow. I was going to walk here. today. And it's then like, I was like, I'm just going to be sweaty as fuck. Dude, me, me and Cammy went on a walk last night, and I came back with just some swamp ass. It was That's just disgusting. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you have I to shower every time you go outside. You have to. It's, 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 uh, it's definitely, um, I wasn't expecting it to be like this. Let's talk about COD Champs a little bit. New York. New York wins 5 0. Dominant. Congrats, Dominant Troy. fashion. Huh? Congrats, Troy. Yep, people nope. are saying the optic curse lives on, even through the coach. Tragic. Yep. I mean, congrats to them. I mean, it was it was it was crazy. I wasn't expecting New York to win again, and then they did. The fact it. that they five out too, that's kind of crazy. I'm gonna stand behind my theory that it was if Scrappy didn't talk shit, it wouldn't have been a five out. I don't believe that. I do. I don't. I do. I I don't. He fired up the whole team. We can agree to dude. They were already fired up. You're going into a COD Champs Grand Final. Exactly. Sometimes You're already when you, fired you up. can say that about Ultra too. You're already fired up, and then you yeah, get they just more got slammed. Fired up. Yeah. You get more fire. No, you're already. There fired had up. to have been a PC issue. 
Some of those kills were looking serious. Oh, you're trying to I'm get talking like pre-aimed. <laughs> we just get fucking spat on. Just I mean, it, we actually sprint. couldn't believe it on the watch party. Like for a while, it was like we were laughing. It's like okay, but then we were like, and what's, then it just kept going. What's going on here? It, it kept just, happening. Oh man. Wait, what is this? Twitter drama? Scrappy versus a fan? I gotta see this. Wait, what? I didn't if you're see a fan and you're talking and shit to the rookie of the year who just plays second at champs, this like can't be a video, is it? Oh, this. Saga. You almost passed out and fell over when NYSL sent you an envelope of a player card. You're on dick like Mariah oh, yeah, to Zion. <laughs> I did see this. Oh, he, bro, he dropped an NBA reference. Why is he even respond? Like, nah, because sometimes it's it just great. Touch the nerve. Some not, nah, it's just sometimes it's hilarious. Like I, I responded did I to see it. You oh, respond to dude, yeah. I thought it was hilarious. Some dude was like. I just love when Method tries being the center of attention on the watch party and Skump brings him right back to reality. And I said, oh yeah, Zach, do you love that? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was fucking hilarious. I loved it. Oh, I thought it was great. I read it and I was, I was capping. <laughs> He's like, what are you, who's typing that? You would lick the dirt <laughs> off my shoes, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I saw Bose tell someone on Twitter like, fuck, what did he say? That's fucking good. Um, Oh, I'm, I love the fact that you hate life, and I hope it gets worse. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Wait, Mark said that. Yeah, yeah. No, Bose, Bose, I love is... the fact that you hate life, and I hope it only gets worse. <laughs> Dude, Bose is great on Twitter for shit like that. <laughs> He's gonna start reality checking to everybody. I gave up. Nah, he forced one. to delete. I gave up on he deleted to anyone it? on Twitter. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's how you know it's victory. Oh shit! Yeah, there's that's, the right. that's, that's victory. victory. Yeah, yeah. If they delete, you win. What are the comments to Bose? How would he delete it though? You... Like, how do you? Oh yeah, Davis came through back in beef. Yeah, I'll, I'll send it a like. I mean, I don't that's know if great. I'm gonna get into it, but because it's like there's I'll, always I'll bad apples like. that are gonna talk shit, and then there's like the actual cool people that see that shit. They're like, "What the fuck?" I saw Matt Craig with his like on Bose's. I have a mixed base. Then you clap back and they Bose's love it. Tweet. <laughs> Matt Craig's throwing a like on Bose's I had a lot of people, tweet there. I had a lot of people come to my defense, but also the original tweet got a lot more likes. Like the guy talking shit to me. Like oh, my, yeah. my reply, <laughs> like the original tweet, there were some haters really getting involved. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Agreed. Oh yeah, there's both sides. Go fuck yourself, buddy. <laughs> oh man. But it's yeah, funny. Great. Sometimes, you gotta, turn, sometimes you got to clap back. I might turn Bose's notifications on. He's great on Twitter, like with shit like that. <laughs> what else do we got? Should we talk about our team at all? How we nah, perform? We're, and... Nah, I mean, I, I don't. I, I mean, we didn't play well. Obviously, uh, it's one of those things where, like, see, it's 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 annoying because we'll say that like they were this close to making a winners final, and then people will just say stop making excuses. But like, they fucked up on on map four. Map 3 was hella close against New York. They fucked up Map 4. They go to loser's bracket, and then they play Seattle, who just beat Thieves, and then they lose last map. And that's kind of how champs go sometimes. If you make a mistake, you get fucked. Well, and champs is always crazy. Like, like think about the first round. Rocker goes up 2-0 against New York, who literally goes on to win. Imagine Rocker somehow pulls out a third map, and then we Rocker, play, we play, I Rocker said, beat New York first round. Then, like, the whole thing I is just I said if we play up. Rocker round 2, we're making the winner's final. Yeah. Because Rocker, yeah, Rocker, we were we, we, we were beating Rocker if we played Rocker round two. And then we're in the winner's final, and then who knows what's going to happen. But that's not how it panned out. And, uh, yeah, it also gets amplified because we went 0-6 map count at the major before. So it's, I get the frustrations mm -hmm. behind it. Um, but, yeah, I don't, I don't want to talk about our team's roster mania because I don't want yeah, to, I don't want to interfere the with their process. You know what it's I'm saying? It's just weird, like... <clears throat> It's always weird talking about roster mania because most people already know what's going on. Like all the people talking about Intel and roster mania, we all know what's happening. Like I could name three rosters right now if yeah, I wanted to. Exactly. Like we all know. So let's just so, stay out of it. Yeah. So then I go on stream and I say, I oh, know. if this team gets this player, it's like I already know what's happening. So then I got to sit there and lie and be like, oh, imagine if this team gets this player. And it's just like a whole like, it's all farming. It's all a game. It's it's literally all just clicks and, and fucking around. And that's the reality of roster mania. It's like most people in the scene behind the scenes know. Like rosters are starting to shape up. At least some. Some are still in I mean, the I'm air. I'm getting but, texts from people. Like I just, yeah. you kind of start putting the pieces together. Thoughts on this team, blah, blah, yeah. blah. Putting the word here. I got players asking me to put in words there. I'm like, who the fuck? Like, dude, <laughs> I'm not the person you want putting the word in. I'm getting offers. 
London said, bring us back. No, they didn't. <laughs> they didn't. Nobody's but they offering. fucking should. Nobody's offering. You think every team's going to change besides, besides New, York, yeah. New York? I think so. I mean, I, I didn't think Ultra was going to change, uh, but now obviously... Some, they might still not. They might not. Yeah, I don't know. Phase, I mean, phase is a question mark right now. I think the trio sticks. I don't know what really happens after that. And well, then wonder, after that, I think everyone like, else well, Let's changes. not talk about roster media. And then we just start going team by well, team. No, we, no, no, no. I'll <laughs> talk about... <laughs> Matt's like, keep gonna, talking. I need to talk about everything, no, 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 no. everything but off. I'll talk, talk about, about every other team but us. Because I don't want to get... I don't want to interfere with the boys' process. And I don't want to step on any toes in that, in that sense. Just because, like... I mean, it's the boys. Yeah. Um, it's just weird. They had such a good run and then just kind of like fizzled out. Well, people were saying it was like a honeymoon phase and everything was going yeah. right. They get second I back to back. I expected that, not the fizzle out part, but like the honeymoon phase. I was, I was like, Ghosty's going to come in here and he's just going to be I just challenger. I thought they up. looked insane for a bit. I yeah. thought, like, well, no, they, well, they were the best team in the world for a while. And the, and the one downside of that is, you're under a fucking microscope. Every yeah. single team is looking at everything you do, how you play in hard point, the the transitions and control, your search. Like, if you're that good and you're not close to champs, like, you have to keep innovating and like adjusting and innovate. adapting. And yeah. like, there's only so much you can innovate. Like, I, I feel like towards the end of the year, most teams are playing the same when it comes to hard point. And that's why you'll see like teams that were ahead earlier in the year, like LAG, for example. LAG wasn't going to stay ahead for long. Like they had the game figured out, and as soon as the top teams and top talents figure out what to do correctly, they're just going to out talent you. Yeah. So as the games progress and you're under a microscope, I mean, it's very hard to stay consistent. That's why I do. When it comes to Phase, like Phase, obviously they place top three, which is still great, but like Phase's consistency is the crazy part. Just because yeah. like yeah. they're they're always in the conversation. Like they they didn't win the past <clears throat> couple, but. They are always there. So, like, that's like a team that yeah. just... I will say Dan did have a very good rookie season. Oh, oh no, what yeah, the he fuck? did. Yeah, Hell he, yeah. At the, begin at the beginning, obviously, like, whether it was nerves or whatever, um, you know, he came in the league. But I can't remember what no, event. I'm pretty or, sure he came in and just started doing his thing. Well, I don't no, think he really... Was, there was this one play against ASIM on Fortress. Oh, back yeah. Forklift. Back, back uh, fork. Forklift. And ever since then, it was like it, a new Dan. Yeah, he came out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you come in and your teammates are... Shotzi who dashy. Yeah. Like, God it's a good damn, team to come into. It's a good team. I mean, that's a good team. That's a good three players to have beside you, but it's like it's but he's also like be a very hard vocal, to put up like, numbers IGL with those player, players right? on your team. He 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 has proved his like he deserves a, a tenure in the league. You, like, yes. you know what I mean? Like yeah, he yeah. has he has came through and he he is one of the main reasons why that optic roster went on that crazy run. And also, like I think people just like Dan, like his story. Like I mean, he's 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 a good guy to get behind, right? He's a, obviously a great player, and the IGL aspect really like impressive. Just being young and coming in and having the the confidence to like speak up and not mm -hmm. take a, a back seat when, a, a, when you're next to players like Shotzi, Dashi. It's uh, I mean, it's typical. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? This podcast is brought to you by Prize Picks. Sign up today with code OPTIC for an instant deposit match up to $100. Make picks across all kinds of sports and esports, such as the NBA, NFL, MLB, Call of Duty, and Counter Strike. How does it work? You pick two to six players, and they will go more or less than their prize picks projection. You can win up to 25 times your money on any entry. Prize picks can be made in 60 seconds or less. It's that easy. Prize picks is safe and offers fast withdrawals. Download prize picks today and play daily fantasy sports with us. Make sure to use promo code OPTIC when you sign up. This prod, this, uh, this podcast is brought to you by Factor. Now that it's summer, you might be looking for wholesome, convenient meals. Well, lucky for you, Factor is America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. It can help you fill up fast with flavorful and nutritious ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track reaching your goals. Looking for calorie-conscious options this summer? Try delicious, dietitian approved calorie-smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. Elevate eating at home with our new upscale Surf and Turf and Surf and Surf meal options like roasted garlic, filet mignon, and shrimp, and Cajun spice shrimp and salmon. Want to budget this month by cutting back on takeout? Get Factor instead. Not only is Factor cheaper than takeout, but meals are ready faster than restaurant delivery in just two minutes. This June, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door, ready in two minutes, no prep, no mess. 
Head to factormeals.com slash optic50 and use code optic50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code optic50 at factormeals.com slash optic50 to get 50% off your first box. This podcast is brought to you also by Rocket Money. So basically, Rocket Money has helped me out in the past. I was uh, subscribed to a couple of streaming services that I obviously didn't use, as well as my fiance. We both had uh, multiple streaming service uh, subscriptions, and this helped me locate those, first of all, and then also cancel them to help myself save a couple extra dollars. Uh, Do you know how much your subscriptions really cost? Most Americans think they spend around $80 a month on subscriptions, but the total cost is closer to $200. If you don't know exactly how much you're spending every month, you need Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Stop throwing your money away, cancel unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash optic. That's rocketmoney.com slash optic, rocketmoney.com slash optic. You should know what that means already. That's the sound of another sale on Shopify and the moment another business dream becomes a reality. So we use Shopify for our rich and lonely uh, clothing brand. Obviously, I'm not really as affiliated with it, but we've done a bunch of collaborations. This is Mark, our Embos, Aaron, uh, those guys, their brand. Um, We use Shopify to track sales, uh, get payouts, all that good stuff when it comes to the clothing side of of esports. Packed with industry-leading tools ready to ignite your growth, Shopify gives you complete control over your business and your brand without having to learn any new skills in design or code. And thanks to 24-7 help and an extensive business course library, Shopify is there to support your success every step of the way. Now it's your turn to get serious about selling and try Shopify today. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash optic, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash optic to take your business to the next level today. Shopify.com slash optic, again, all lowercase. You guys mentioned like optic being hot and like teams sort of figuring it out. When you guys were competing, would your coaches say before matches like what other teams are doing or what their break off is? Yeah. Or, is that just like a basic known yeah, that's, thing? That's that, standard. Like it's mm-hmm. yeah, very standard. We'd have like was there anything like we'd weird have like they'd screenshots point out? of their setups and search. Like I mean, really? It, yeah, you have like like when P2 you have like rotation. They usually send two back here. Yeah, or, I mean, it's kind of yeah. you can say that, but it's hard. Whenever you're in the moment, it's it's kind of hard to like game plan for. Hard point. Because it never that's actually why, works out dude, exactly. That's why I feel bad when people give hate to coaches. Like Brian Saint, for example, I'm not sure how good of a good friends with Brian. Grew up with Brian. I'm not sure if he's a good coach or not. I don't know. But I do know that once the players get into the match, the coach can't do anything. Like yeah. you can be the best coach, you can be the worst coach. There's only so much you can do to actually affect it's, the game. It's not like the NBA like, where you yeah. can yell from the sideline exactly. and be like, this play, it's like the coaches, after they're off the stage, they have zero control over what happens. A player that goes out and drops a point four. There's yeah. no fucking strategy that can help that. Yeah. And if got, they're calling plays and shit. Yeah, like, he got yeah. harpooned. Bro, it's, you guys have never sat in the back, like little pit area during our matches. The dugout. But it gets fucking crazy. Every single one of our coaches that we've ever had, they just turn into a fucking stress ball. Oh, oh yeah. Every single time. And they're, they're sitting like, there. Oh, why are they... Yeah, like even even JP Krez, who's like one of the more like soft, just like very just chill coaches, he gets fucking into it too. He's like, "Why are we not doing this? Why are we not doing this?" Like he gets into it. It's so easy coach, to do that from hindsight, by the way. Fuck, like it's yeah. so easy in hindsight to be like, "Why the fuck aren't they doing?" Like, yeah, yeah. But you see all the dots. Yeah, you, know, like, you have wall they, hacks yeah. behind the scenes. You're I like, mean, "This guy's behind that wall." Watching it, and I don't yeah. play the game. I don't really know the game, but even watching, I'm like, "Why the." Fuck? Why would you contest that? Why would you die there? <laughs> but it's like, it's so much easier in, in hindsight and when you're just watching. Hindsight Harry's. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I can't believe the season's over. I mean, this one flew by. And it obviously feels different. Just like the transition. Like, it's just a weird a weird feeling. Yeah, it is weird. Um, but now we're in off season and uh, <laughs> roster mania will commence. It's already kind of commenced. We're starting mm-hmm. to see rumors start flying around, and uh, we'll see what the team's rosters look like going into next year. Let me pitch you something. Hear me out one more time. Dual player. Optic Boston methods, optic Florida methods, whatever. I play for two orgs, split jersey, optic logo, something else. It's not going to happen. I live here. Again, I huh? play out of one of those offices, and whenever I'm not competing, I come join the watch party. I'm a dual 
dual citizen. You act like you don't have to sit there and scrim and no, no, do no. your warm-ups before matches. No, they would know the situation. No third sets. Um, no warm-ups. No, no warm-ups. And um, on match days, I'm on the watch party, whatever, I'm not playing. It's a good gig. For it, I, I could well, really. So you're not warming up for your that. matches. You're just sitting on the couch. No, no, I'm warming up for my match. But after the match, I'm on the couch. Well, what if you're like third match? I'm on the couch for the first match, the first two maps, the second, and then I go shoot bots, and then I load in. Yeah, see, you're, you're insane. There's no, we'll there's, talk. There's no way to do it. No, we'll talk. No, we won't. It's it, it we'll can't, put it, the salary down the middle. Optic, whoever. I, it, we can discuss it. Okay, we'll talk. Split that salary, huh? <laughs> <laughs> down the middle, you say. Sure. Uh, I will say off season. You know what I can't wait for? The launch tournaments. Because like I wonder how it's, like we're content creators now. So can we just form like these fucking super rosters? Oh, yeah. Me, you, Shotzi, Brandon. Yep. Would you guys ever play in challengers for a tournament? Like, yes. Like, no, do, like, I, no, I, I, I nope. will be. He won't. I will be. I fucked up. I had the opportunity. Me and Bose were going to this past season, and I just screwed up and I didn't actually do it. But I will do it. I, I know you get stuff it. now with like the watch party and stuff, but that would be so. Fun. Like, I, mean, if, like, I love it. You nade. Merc and Big T see, for some it's, reason it's, just like decided I would it could be just shit like why'd that why'd you just right? leave me out <laughs> see I would I would do it but people will like I just know it's how it's the people, legacy combo well people right? people will literally take it like we're like a real team no no you yes they to, will no it's, yes they will I have my opinion yes they will it would be stressful Lo- it's, a real it's team trash. and then, and then like, I'm gonna get mad dog shit I'm gonna get mad like that's a fair point I'm sitting here not practicing playing against kids that are scrimming every day you know you're better than them but you're losing yeah that just sounds I think, miserable. Nah, dude. Me, you, Bozuma. First off, no one's thinking that's a real team. Boz is throwing frags. Tommy's hitting the pen and flanking. He can't even talk. I'm in hill. <laughs> he I'm, can't even talk. I'm in, I'm in hill throwing trophies. You're just kill horn like you have always done. And then um, that didn't get you. And then uh, no, I'm, I'm immune now. Think about it. I think that's great content. We scrim a little bit. People are tuning in. You have 30K viewers. It's a good at 50k, sorry. See, scrimming like that would be, sorry. that's one thing, but actually playing in like tournaments and shit, like scrimming and shit would be fun. If we could just like fuck around and get scrims, but like. Dude, people like, would we scrim were, us. I mean, that's a great opportunity. If we you're were a challenger team and you could scrim yeah. in front of 30k people, I think they're going to. I mean, get, we were trying to scrim last year, but we, we couldn't find one. You remember that? We were, gonna, we, were, we were trying to get the Optic Boys to play us, and then we were going to play a challengers team, and then we didn't. We tried to do that last year. Before, it was literally right before that tournament. I promise we can get scrims. I we'll mean, talk. We couldn't get one then. We'll talk. Optic Nation returns. Yeah. What if we're filthy? <laughs> like we're fucking insane. We we're seven zero in top challengers teams. We scrim a pro team, slam them on stream. Subliners get put down six zero. You're like, oh my god. I'm streaking versus Hydra, shooting his body. Reddit's going crazy. I come back. I hoist gold. I'm getting fucking crowd surfed. Yeah, see, he's he's still so about it. Oh yeah, <laughs> shit yeah. that'll never happen. He's still so about it. <laughs> this is what he thinks of when he's like laying down at night. Oh like, yeah, staring at the ceiling. Yeah. Man. Yep. <laughs> I'm thinking of walkout songs. Well, what the fuck am I gonna walk out to at champs? I'm walking to the watch party couch. <laughs> After you just got eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean it's not even competing. Just walking in, AirPods in till I collapse. Walking to the watch party. Let's fucking get in there. Sure. Stream. Sure. But yeah, free agency begins Monday, July 3rd. <sighs> Teams should be making players with extensions options aware of their players by next Monday. So people... Next Monday, that's in four days. No, no, no. It's the Monday after. July 3rd, it's the 22nd. Right? No, but they're the teams are making their players oh, extension yeah, options yeah, yeah, aware. Right, so they'll right, know right, if they're right. getting picked back up or if they're obviously getting let go. So in four days, that's when shit's going to really... I wonder... Kicking. So I can see this happening. Teams are going to form early, obviously. We have a four-month offseason, five-month offseason. They're going to start playing games like Cold War because they're just going to want to play something. We're going to see like scrims and shit. And what if these teams are shit? We're not going to see scrims. Nobody's scrimming Cold War. What I think they will. Okay, in? listen, I think they might. <laughs> Dude, I can... Not like scrimming, but like, like they'll, they'll be playing. They'll be like pick up eights and shit, but like, do nobody is full team scrimming on Cold War. I don't know. And they're <laughs> off season. They might. I could see it happening. Teams breaking up before the season even begins. Just watch. Dude. All right. What? We, All right. we have been in the Call of Duty community for over a decade. We've never when had a five, has that ever happened? We have never had a five-month off season. 
It's always been like two months, three months max. I, people are going to go start playing Valorant. People are going to go start playing fucking Apex. Nobody's fucking screaming Cold <laughs> War. Fair. What kind of reality are you in? I'm just praying they scream Cold War so I can play. You trying to get in on the yeah. action? Can we talk about the submarine, please? <laughs> yeah, let's talk about <laughs> the submarine. Can we submarine. talk about... Do you, you realize how fucking stupid you need to be to fuck with the ocean like that? Does anyone know the full... <laughs> Story Duck. of why Jesus. he's dumb and deep. Yeah, no what? No pun intended. Dude, no, nah, you don't. You don't mess with the ocean like that. Well, what's the submarine thing? You have a bunch of it's rich a ass people. It's a five person submarine. Thousand dollars a seat. How many people were in it? Five. Just five. It's controlled by a GameCube remote. Just five cash or whatever console like, it was. Let me go see this. And it's that's like an off-brand PS2 controller. I think it's literally controlled by a and forty dollar controller. Bluetooth? It's Bluetooth, yeah. yeah. Input delay and shit. Yeah. It's oh, Bluetooth. They're, they're lagging and shit, trying to move it. <laughs> so they said they have extras on board, but it's Bluetooth operated. That just sounds like a recipe, dude. So just What's five actually, rich people getting a submarine and to, with the to CEO go of see the company the, to go see the Titanic. Go see the Titanic through like a literal hole. Yeah. It's like, dude, AI is so good. You can see that Titanic right now. I could show you it right now. It takes it eight to ten like hours to get down there, and because you can't. No, you no, can't, no. It's I, I just I literally just watched something. It, they said it takes two to three hours to go down, and then they're down there for a couple hours, and that's two to three hours back up. So it's like an eight hour. It's like an eight hour. It's like an eight hour total, like eight to ten hour round trip. Oh. So what exactly happened? So you're in the, they're in the submarine. I mean, they, it starts going down. They don't know. It's just all it's all theories and like. And what, then they just disappeared. So so people are saying it was either. It, what if a whale just? So apparently they were pinging on like sonar and shit, and then apparently that went away. And so people, people are assuming that there was a breach in the hole and it just imploded. Because when you're that deep, the pressure just fucking, literally, you just get crushed. Yeah, instantly. And people, there's another theory that they got like trapped inside the wreckage of the Titanic, so they couldn't come up. Because there's like they said there's like seven different ways for them to come back up, and one of them they can do without power, and it's like a sandbag drops, and then they just just come back up, and. The th there's two theories. It's like they're either trapped inside the Titanic or they just instantly all died and the submarine imploded on itself. Because or there is a breach. At, like, or at the surface, right? Or, and they yeah. can't get out, right? Yep. Or they're at the surface and they can't get out because it's bolted. And I mean, that would just... Because you're we you're just literally looking at outside. You're on top of the ocean and you have no air in, inside of it. No, nah, you got to... I can't but, even... Wait, they're saying they could have floated back up to the top, but they're bolted inside and can't get it out. It has to get bolted by like I think it's like twenty bolts because of the the pressure. Uh -huh. They have to do it that way, and that means they can't get out. Like someone from what? the outside has to unscrew. Like someone it. has to find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's literally a fucking horror a... movie. Like, yeah. dude, I would it, it never in a million sound... years. Imagine if I was getting paid, I wouldn't do that. Nope. Yeah. If you got if paid to, I would okay. not go down there. <laughs> any amount. Fuck that. I'm not even kidding. You offer me ten million, I'd say I'm no. not going down there. I, I, I can't do something like that. It's just like. The nah, you can't fuck the with the ocean. Oxygen dude. going away slowly and just oh like it's God. getting. There's hard a lot of breathe. things I would do for for a lot of money, and that is just you could offer me a billion dollars. I'm not doing it. I would not no, go I, down I, in that thing. No. I agree with you. I agree. <laughs> no, I'm not going down there. I can't. Unless it's like, dude, the ocean. There are certain people I would trust. Down. With, That's insane. Okay, this one seems sketchy, right? Two like it's miles. not like a. Yeah. If I have like NASA running the operation or like Musk. I might consider a billion. If I have a certain... Yeah, I think I have to try like if, the billion. I mean, if you're in like a fucking... They're giving me If a you're billion. in like a industrial grade US fucking nuclear yeah. submarine, if that's with, one thing. If I'm with the general, I'm going in. But I'm not going down in that thing. Actually, ever. no. Actually, I don't know, dude. The ocean scares me. It's just too... That's two miles deep. That's insane. Thirteen thousand feet. So it's more than two mm -hmm. miles because I think fifty-five hundred feet is a mile. So it's mm -hmm. like I can't even like picture that in my head. Yeah. Have you seen? You, you haven't seen like the infographics where it like shows yeah. like where like the lowest depths of like the Mariana Trench. Yeah, I saw that. Trend. But even then, it's still at like, that point it's you're seeing creatures imagine. you didn't know exist. Like there could be some crazy. Megalodon. Yeah. This is fucking giant yeah, squid. Like, yeah. The kraken. Fucking the deeps down there just swimming around. <laughs> yeah. I mean, goodness gracious. I would, I, I would, I honestly would never get in that thing. Ever. Would you go to space? And the or... worst part is the internet's loving it. Bro, the I mean, amount it's... of memes. Would you uh, go to space or do this? Uh, yeah, I'd rather neither. Space. 
if I had space to choose would just one, be dope to. No, nah, I couldn't space do either. I don't want to go to space, dude. I don't want. Who the hell wants to go to space? I kind of do. Dude, you're down. You you know how big the Burj Khalifa is? It's like the biggest building in the world. You're down what six of those? You're down two of it's, the Grand Canyon. It makes no sense to me that yeah. there's that much water. That's not even like deep, to be honest. It goes way deeper than yeah. that. And what's crazy <laughs> is even if they're found, like they don't have the equipment to get them back up either. There's like one other sub or something like that that was like searching for it. Well, yeah, th that was my question. How much manpower was actually tasked with finding this thing? Because like, it's not like that. they have a search team down there. Yeah, you like. It's can't. not like they have like. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't really do anything. You're forced to like use sonar. I don't know anything about anything, but like there's just it, it's just not practical. Like it's not. It seems it, it seems impossible. And obviously now I think they ran into oxygen, which is like confirmed now. So no matter, even if they were to find them, they said at 7 p.m. Eastern this morning, so six six our time, they ran out of oxygen. Yeah. So I mean that's, that's and that was fucking that was five and a half hours ago. That's a horrible day. Yeah. Like that nah, is probably it's... the slowest. If you just run out of oxygen, like uh, I'm sure you feel it. Like the the last like few hour, actually maybe even the last like twenty four hours, you might be like, damn, it's getting hard to breathe. Then like ten hours, mm -hmm. damn, it's really hard to breathe. Five hours left, it's like I can hardly breathe. Like you're just slowly fucking <laughs> dying, probably hallucinating shit. And, and you're at the, a you're way at the to bottom of the ocean. It's pitch black. <laughs> like <laughs> you hear weird sounds you you never heard. Before. Well, they said that there was like knocks or something that they heard, like in thirty minute intervals, and they don't know what it was. I mean, I just I can't fucking. That's that is that's not a good way. I mean, that's fucking miserable. It it wow. might be one of the worst ways you can possibly bow out. Why would you even want to see the Titanic that bad? I don't give yeah, a shit. Who about gives it. a yeah. fuck? And it, I mean, it's a father and his son. Like that's fucking miserable. That's like a horror movie, literally out of a horror movie. Yeah. Dude, I I, I didn't know it was. And going I wouldn't on. watch that horror movie because that's like that's one I wouldn't watch. Yeah. Well, they already have a documentary coming out. I think it airs tonight. Yeah. What? what? Yeah, yeah, they have a documentary dude. coming out about it. They fucking love it, dude. They're yeah, on top they of these things. When this shit type, when this type of shit happens, there's someone in the boardroom fucking ecstatic. This happened, and that's sickening to think about. I saw that there were people betting on if they were going to find it or not. Yeah. There's like, I'm not <laughs> kidding. Fuck? I'm not kidding. There's yeah, like, yeah, there's so people uh, betting on if they're like going to find it or not. tweeted something like That's that. That's fucking sick. What uh, a horrible, horrible way to go. I think I'd rather just drown. How the fuck do you not make it to where you have a way out? There I mean, is. I don't know the pressure. I don't know anything about the pressure. There is a way out, but. No, you would need someone else to get oh, you out. Oh, but I'm saying like, to, uh, I was saying to get back to the surface. But yeah, there's not a way out by yourself, which, I mean, it makes sense because imagine if someone like didn't know what they were doing and they try to open something and then it yeah, just implodes. Everyone. Yeah. But geez, man. I mean, I don't know what else to say. That it's, one is uh, grim. Yeah, it's gr it's very grim. And lighter news, who, who you got? Zuckerberg or Elon Musk in a cage match? It doesn't, isn't Zuckerberg like a Zuck? Yeah. If this actually happens, uh, M, not MMA guy, but like uh, Brazilian jiu jitsu person yep. now, Elon's going to get fucked up. And Elon said he was down. I mean, this is Elon. some crazy shit. If this like, actually happens, happening? this world's not real anymore. Like, I'm done. <laughs> Bro. I'm out. The pay per view sales for this will be insane. Yeah. It might be the <laughs> most sold yeah. fight yeah. ever. Like over Mayweather, yeah, it actually Dranger. would be, and I think it might blow it out. Like yeah, this would be would. insane. Yeah. Two literal, just and, powerhouse and CEOs. He's gonna get fucked up. You think he'd win by knockout? Who Zuckerberg? Yeah. No, he'd get him in some arm, some Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Isn't Elon arm the richest man thing. in the world right now? Probably. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> This can't be real. This can't be if real. this shit's happening, this can't be real. Can't be real. <clears throat> but it looks like it's real. There's no way that's gonna happen though. Even though Elon did say he was down. There's just it's no gotta way. be all jokes. This is the type of all shit you memes. see and then yeah. you just forget about and never actually happened. Yeah. Who knows? But if it does happen, it's gonna break records. And we'll be watching. And we will I will one hundred percent be watching. Just oh, because man. it's just absurd. Society is fucked. What else is going on in the news, Matt Craig? 
Well, yeah, Tifu Tifu retired from content, which was uh my favorite Fortnite player. Yeah. Uh it's it's crazy to think about. I didn't really watch the full video. What do you think about the fans? He had a good quote about this. There's some people Who Tifu did? Yeah. Go Wait, ahead. What quote? Or what do you mean good quote about it? Uh, go ahead. You finish first. I was going to say some like some fans are he felt trapped and the fans were like, "How do you feel trapped? You're playing video games for Six, eight hours, like you can do, oh, that's a normal job. I'll tell you how. And the like, he's, media he's space in a video miserable. like crying about. Huh? So the social media space is miserable. That's how he feels trapped. Yeah. He said, uh, yeah, that's it. I use gaming to escape from reality and now I use reality to escape from work. Like he, you know what I'm saying? Like that's like a, because I feel like it has all changed a lot. Like social media is a lot worse now. It's very mm -hmm. toxic. So I understand, like, I, I, I can relate to what he's saying. Like, it's definitely a lot more miserable than it used to be. I mean, gaming... Then someone can hear you say that and be like, shut the fuck up, Zinny. All you do is... Yes. I like, sort uh, of... <laughs> I, so, I sort of get it. If you're a, just a regular dude working a regular job, you hate your fucking job, but you got to clock in eight hours, five days a week or whatever, and then you see someone like Tifu, who's a multimillionaire crying saying that he's trapped i mean i'm sure it's like a little bit i'm sure he's i mean you never really know what he's going through he's pro he probably crying a little bit because it's been such an impact in his life and like he thinks he's he knows he's like set on sort of leaving this space so it's kind of sad but he also could be like depressed in real life and just like they don't think people like people just don't understand well, people also don't understand how early a lot of these content creators start. So his first YouTube video was, he was first on YouTube when he was nine. So from nine to 25, he's really? just, all he's like probably been doing is just gaming, gaming, gaming. Yeah. And it's like- People probably think he's like, start playing Fortnite in 2018, pop, blew up and now yeah. five years later. I mean, yeah, I, I get it. I mean, it's, it's, there's a lot of social pressure to stream, like- if you're not enjoying it, it can when, just drive you insane. And when you're streaming, it's not like you're just, you get to just play video games. Like, you're not just playing video games. Like, you have to be entertaining. You're talking to chat. Like, no matter what mood you're in, you have to. You, you have to worry about. You can't. You're on camera. You like, have to worry about your viewership. So, you, sometimes you can't even play games that you want to play. You kind of have to just stick to your main at, game. All yeah, you do is all, look at numbers that, like, yeah. sort of. It's all perspective, though. Because, like, someone who doesn't have this career, it's, I feel like it's very hard. To understand the the pressure. Oh no, I I get it. it. Well, people so just it, see it's money all in just perspective. People see money, followers, whatever it may be, and they're just like, "Oh, this guy's fucking. Why, why is he complaining?" Like no one actually knows. Like you see the highlight of people's lives. Like I don't care how much money someone has. I mean, I'm a firm. I don't think money buys happiness. That's a controversial topic for some people. I don't understand why. Like money buys freedom. Money money solves money problems. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you're stressed or depressed about something money related, sure, money would solve that problem. But like money does not solve a lot of issues people have. So it's always tough to talk about it's fair. Our complaints about this space or whatever we do, just because oh, someone has it worse or I just work ten hours construction. It's like no one's discrediting like, you. Yeah, you. No got, one's no one's disrespecting it's not that. A dick measuring competition. Yeah, it's just yeah. We're just speaking but even like yeah. those guys that had to work eight hours at like a other job. It's like, well, you got to work eight hours at another job. This dude in fucking Africa doesn't like it. Just you can always just compare something worse to even what people are complaining. Comparison is the thief of joy. Exactly. Well, and that's the problem is all of these things are designed to make you compare now. So every every, every twenty year old thinks they should have a million followers and a million dollars, and yeah. every twenty five year old feels like they're lost in life, and that's because social media now is literally. They tell you that not not to worry about numbers, not to compare yourself, but every single one of these things is designed to do that. Like every single one of these things is designed to make you feel like you're either trending upwards, trending downwards, or plateauing. And that's and that's the miserable part of social media. And it's now all algorithm based, and you gotta. It's just not. That's a whole different topic, but it's impossible to not to compare yourself. Yeah, in my opinion, these days. Well, I hope Turner finds some. Uh finds what he's looking for you know hopefully he enjoys he said he's he, he, i i saw he said he just wants to be on a beach somewhere drinking a beer and just chill i mean good for him Sounds yeah good, life. good for him yeah so I think, I think we're at an hour right matt good for him hopefully he finds what he's uh searching for absolute legend and uh he said he needed a break so maybe he'll be back take your break mom yeah take your break <laughs> enjoy yourself how much go kick me yeah I don't know if I can say that. 
Probably something stupid. Matt, there's your title. Two million I'll for tell Tony. You how much. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that. Two million for Tony. Are you allowed to openly talk about that if you're a like Twitch oh, streamer? I don't, I don't know. Blur I, don't, that out. I don't know if I'm Damn, allowed to. I set you Let's up. blur that out. Yeah, I don't. Why I just up? don't know. I. I <laughs> if I if I knew you're, that I was allowed to, I wouldn't care like saying. But like, I don't know if I'm allowed. Yeah. Can I say it for you? You passed me a note. They can't hold it against you. <laughs> just mouth it. Mouth it. I got you. I'm not mouthing it. So Doc's oh, got a shit. YouTube contract. He's tweeting out 50 mil is my number. Hmm. Nah, streaming has Dr. gotten Kick. insane, dude. 50 million? Oh my God. Jeez. I mean, that's life changing. Oh, can someone <laughs> yeah, fucking it's, gen- yeah. that is, it's not even life changing. It's, it's generational. generational. Yeah. Generational. Someone needs to look out for the average fucks like me. Like, where? Just give me some baby contract or something. Like, we need an agent. How, for how, much, us would, how, average how much would you want to be fucking... like, happy? I mean, you look at Twitch right now. They don't even, once you even hit 100K, your shit goes down to like 50 50. I mean, wouldn't it be much? <laughs> Maybe a couple hundred grand. And that's about it. Someone needs to look out for the average fuck. Train wrecks, come talk to me. I will not speak. <laughs> I will not speak because if I speak, I will be in big trouble. Yeah, you will. All right. Oh, man. Is that life changing money though? Literally good. crazy. Well, that's episode. What, what episode was this? 129, I think. Episode 129 in the books. Thank you guys uh, for watching. And uh, the we'll God see you all in the next one. one today. Next up, number 130. Peace. <laughs>